Oku means belonging to. The plants belong to this country, Aotearoa. We see it as our responsibility as kaitiaki to look after these plants and respect them and to help grow more of these plants. The, the story of Orku, I guess, really starts with a personal health journey for, for me. I was born with a, a hereditary kidney condition, which by the age of 25, the, the kidneys had failed and I ended up on dialysis. And then in 2019, I had the third kidney transplant, which was an incredible blessing, an unexpected um, blessing, and, and that was a, a life changer, game changer for, for not only for myself but you know the family and, and, and really for the business and that as well, just getting that freedom from, from dialysis and getting my health back again. I'd always had a real passion and interest around natural medicine. That really motivated me to, to sort of really go to a deep dive and into that and and so I trained as a as a naturopath and medical herbalist and that was really where I started to learn more about the, the natives started using them in clinic with, with clients and uh, and obviously started to see these incredible properties and benefits that people were, were getting from using these plants and here we are um, today you know with um, stockists uh, around the country um, uh, a very busy website and uh, and now also with a um, you know an export footprint um, uh, beginning on, on Amazon and in Timor and, and China and you know more people need to know about these these plants you know there's this incredible knowledge within Maridum you know this traditional use but outside of that world you know there was there was not a lot of awareness at all of these plants of how, of how they can be be utilized medicinally uh, we're able to receive the Callahan Innovations grant for uh, research and development and so we now have um, a lab that we're, that we're renting up at Ag Research and we have a, a scientist that's, that's come on board. The whole purpose of, of the R&D program is really to get a better understanding of the plants, you know, show us um, their true potential because really that's what it's about. It's really about beginning to really understand the plants and through that be able to develop products that will then really be able to help people. So we've got 12 teas, they're all made of New Zealand native herbs, um, blended with some western herbs as well. They come in loose leaf and tea bags and our tea bags are compostable. Our loose leaf come in these little um, Nature Flex bags which are compostable as well and our tubes are obviously recyclable so everything here is in glass or we've got the aluminium lids or we've got recyclable um, tubes or compostable inner bags and even our large sizes so you can buy the tube from us and then just repurchase the inner or buy a bigger size and, and top your tubes up. So this this this, um, this is the Kanuka. so I mean you can just take a strip off it's, uh, it's actually a lovely one for tea. You know, we've got plants obviously like this, this one here, the kumaraho. So this is our key herb and our, our chest elixir. My whānau have used these plants for generations and they had a very, very close connection to these plants. What the knowledge that these plants hold, it would be a, really, a real shame to lose a lot of that knowledge. A lot of uh, you know, our tohunga out there have passed away. And I think for us, it's really important to keep that kind of knowledge alive. So we would normally harvest the green part, which is the fresh growth, not the, not the woody. Uh, we, use the, we use the karamu in our restore tea. Right. So traditionally, this was a, a great kidney and liver tonic. This is just an example of one of the harvests that we would do. So this has just been, been stripped off the stripped off the branches that we've harvested. So this is ready to, to hang, to, uh, to air dry. And then once it's, um, once it's nice and dry and it's, you know, it'll be a nice crunchy consistency, uh, then that's um, ready to be processed down to a tea cut. So everything happens on site from basically from, from harvest to drying, to processing, to blending, 
to end product being shipped out to, to the customer. You know, from, from our very sort of humble beginnings of, of just starting uh, at the farmers markets, you know, over 10 years ago, um, you know, we've, we've, um, we've come a long way, but I mean, we still see there's a long way to go to, to really be able to, to, to achieve what we've, what we've set ourselves to do. And, um, but very proud that we, we have been able to do what we've achieved so far, maintaining our integrity to our kaupapa. Um, you know, we haven't abandoned that and that's something that's kind of like our foundation and, and, and that won't, we won't lose that because it's too important, you know, for us. So I think that's, that's a key thing. We're passionate about this country and we are particularly passionate about the plants that grow in this country and um, the uniqueness of these incredible plants. And because, yeah, they're orchid, they, they belong to, to us and they're here for us to, to care for and to respect and to learn from.